Oscar with Butcher Barbecue. Today we're going to go over the simple mixing instructions for the brisket injection and some basic questions of how to mix it and some of the folklore of what's in there. Let's get started on the mixing. Okay, we're going to start with three quarters cup of our bris original brisket injection and two cups of water. I like using a wire whisk and we're going to stir it up and it doesn't take much to um, let it get all dissolved and mixed up. But while doing this, we're going to go over some simple questions that I've been asked several times. First question is, is how long should I mix this up in advance? The number one answer for that is let it set at minimum of 30 minutes, but up to an hour is what I like to do. The next best thing is how far in advance can I mix it? Um, a lot of people will mix it the day before they go to a contest. And if you do, just make sure you keep it cold, put it in a refrigerator, or go ahead and put it in your ice chest. I'm also asked that um, if I have some left over, can I keep it from week to week? Yeah, it can be kept. Um, you don't you don't want to keep it warm at a room temp. Keep it in the refrigerator for the week, and it will over time like that. It will even get thicker. So you might need to thin it down just a little bit to help pull it through your injector. Um, one of the things that I'm asked a lot is. Do I need to heat this liquid up to dissolve it? No, you don't need to heat it up. As you can see, it thickens up and it dissolves almost instantly. So it's not needed to thick or to heat up. One of the other things is, um, what can I mix it with? One of the most important things is you have to remember not to use anything with a caramel coloring, Worcestershire sauce. Some beef broths are too dark and they will also um, darken your meat when you inject it. If you're going to use it just as a marinade, it's fine. It worked just it, any of that would work fine. But I like to use just plain, clean water. Um, distilled water works good. Tap water works fine. If you use tap water, make sure you let it set for 24 hours so that any of the chlorine in it will dissipate out into the air. Let's go over the injector. One of the things that we use is a simple injector. It's a household injector. It's got 14 gauge needle. It's extremely sharp and we'll, we like it with a single hole on it. It is a 60cc, easy to hold and easy to maneuver in the meat. It's Don't be scared of it, it won't hurt you. And we do use a two inch long needle to where most of them are only inch and a half. If you're gonna inject pork butts, we do like that little extra length on the needle. That's our basic fundamental steps of mixing up the injection. Feel free to contact me at www.butcherbarbecue.com using our contact form. We will have some other videos that you can view on how to actually inject the meat. Feel free to view them and we'll see you down the barbecue trail.